Aaron, did the criticism from Apple sting you at all about Steve Jobs? Not really, no. I understand it. Uh, uh, Tim Cook, Lorraine Powell, uh, you know, a, a widow, a good friend uh, and colleague wanting to protect the memory of their friend. Uh, for another, they hadn't seen the movie. Uh, and uh, people very close to Steve who had, like Waz, like John Scully, uh, former CEO, Joanna Hoffman, Andy Hertzfeld, Andrea Cunningham, uh, people who knew Steve very well, especially during this period, who had seen the movie, had been very enthusiastic about it. Uh, you know, the, the, the tricky thing, because you're just uh, uh, talking about facts with Steve Jobs, the, the, the thing that has surprised me is how surprised some, some people uh, have been that it's not a literal biopic, that it's uh, a, not a cradle-to-grave story where you land on the greatest hits of the character uh, along the way. It, in, I can tell you that I, I didn't uh, distort, pervert, or invent any facts uh, about Steve Jobs for this movie at all, except one, which is that uh, Steve did not have confrontations with the same five people 40 minutes before every product launch that he did. <laughs> That's plainly a, uh, a writer's uh, construct. It isn't, and I don't think it should be, journalism. It, it, uh, I, I don't think uh, what you want from art is a Wikipedia page shot nicely. We have things to talk about. Like what? Like a million in the first 90 days. Joanna. 20,000 a month Look, after that. I'm begging those you. Those are the forecasts. This is my field. I'm begging you to manage expectations out there. I'm fanning We're expectations. We're not going to sell a million in the first 90 days. Everyone, 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 everyone is waiting for the Mac. I have a question because I'm, I'm really curious about this. I love the structure of the film. I thought it was really inventive and original. And I've had several people who I also consider to be smart film and theater goers say to me, there's something about the structure of the film that feels very theatrical. It feels mm -hmm. like it could have been a play. Knowing you have written very successfully for the theater, I just wondered what your thoughts were on that because I think that's really interesting and valid to some degree. I enjoyed yeah. it as a movie, but... Uh, no, it is valid. And I think that the reason why they're saying that, I think there are two reasons uh, why they're saying that. Uh, one is simply the, the amount of language mm -hmm. in it, but the other, in, in the theater, uh, you were very used to things not yeah. being literal. That's what it, yeah. uh, and in the movies, yeah. we are not so much yeah. used to things being literal. It's interesting, right? That, uh, mm. uh, it is. It does create a problem when, for instance, you portray Steve Jobs as having a somewhat different relationship with his daughter than may have been the case. I didn't. Uh, like I said, I didn't change any facts or mm. distort any facts. What well, people disagree with that. Loreen Jobs, for one. Uh, what has Loreen Jobs said about uh, Steve's well, Lorene uh, apparently called a lot of people and said, don't be involved with this film. This isn't... This Lorene call, did call a lot of people and said, don't be involved in this film. She hadn't read the film. She didn't like Walter Isaacson's biography that it was based on. Now, Walter's biography was comprehensive. He is a very well-credentialed uh, journalist. He was the managing editor of Time magazine. He ran CNN. He had written two very well-received biographies before that, one about Albert Einstein, the other about Benjamin Franklin. And this was not just an authorized biography, it was a requested biography. Steve and Lorene Jobs went after Walter, said, we want you to do this. He turned them down and said, no, let's wait 10 or 15 years. Walter wasn't aware of the extent of Steve's uh, diagnosis. They told him he agreed, and they told, explicitly told him, uh, don't pull any punches, don't whitewash anything. Going back to that question, is there a, a film or a writer uh, or a play that really influenced and shaped your writing? Yeah, a few. I mean, when I was uh, starting out, William Goldman uh, took me under his wing and uh, oh, wow. he kept me there. I, you know, he's still uh, the person I show pages oh, really? to and huh. talk to from time to time. Did you show him the Steve time. Jobs script? Sure. Uh, what did he say? Uh, he, he said, they're really going to let you do this? Uh, <laughs> he, he was uh, 
uh, uh, he was very helpful. Is he, he as brutal is. as his reputation? Uh, I've never had the, the privilege of meeting that guy, but what I've read about him is he, I mean, in a wonderfully smart way, but is he as brutal as he's made out to be? He, no, he's just wonderfully yeah. smart, and yeah. he's, uh, uh, listen, he, you know, there's a bit of a curmudgeon uh, 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 about him, but it's, uh, it's very charming. It's not yeah, cool. threatening uh, cool. in any way. And, 